G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Now, before we uh, start this this uh, next sort of video tutorial example, um, a little bit of background. My partner, Jackie, owns a property management company called Rental Results, and they manage uh, rental properties on behalf of landlords in um, Wellington, Wellington, New Zealand, uh, so the Wellington region. So if, if you have a rental property uh, that requires managing uh, in Wellington, New Zealand, Wellington region, uh, go to rentalresults.co.nz and check out the website and give them a, give them a call. Now, uh, as a property management company, you can imagine uh, they handle hundreds of sets of keys. And the usual practice is to have a large uh, keyboard, which, gets, which locks up um, when not in use, and uh, the, has a, a zillion hooks in it with uh, each hook with a set of keys. And the keys have a key tag, um, such as this, and uh, on that key tag is a number. Now, we bought um, a collection, we had a bunch of these previously, we bought an extra 600 of them, uh, and, and they um, basically open out like this, and they have a little piece of paper in them. So um, we basically wanted to print out uh, many hundreds of, of these little uh, paper slips, numbered um, uh, three, three copies for each, each set of keys. So, so there's, uh, for each, each property there are three sets of keys, one for the, um, the property managers, one for tradespeople, and one, for the, one set for the tenants. Um, so basically we're going to have a quick look at a very simple application to uh, be able to print those key tags. So let's let's look at that now. So let's um, create our new VCL Forms application. Now I'm going to use a for the reporting engine a, um, a QR Designer dialog or Report Designer dialog. This is our QR Design. That's part of Quick Reports, which um, you can get from here. Uh, it's a commercial. Uh, reporting engine, so um, you can probably download the trial and give it a go. Um, this is not actually a, a tutorial on how to use it, I'm just giving you sort of a, uh, a little bit of an example application. Um, and I need to turn on Use Current Data Sets because we're going to add a client data set and a data source. Um, We're just going to need one field, which is going to be a number, uh, but I'm actually going to make it a string. Uh, it doesn't actually matter that label. And 20 characters. And we want to create that. Okay, so now we want to um, fill in some data, and we're going to do um, putting numbers on our key labels. So I'm just going to um, throw a couple of spin edits on the form and call this one you need a couple of labels to describe those so First key number and okay, and let's um, just have some uh, default values in there. Uh, value one hundred, and we were doing up to three hundred and fifteen. Um, so we need a uh, a mechanism for uh, filling our client data set. So I'm just going to go build data as a, a procedure name. Signed uh, se start dot to se stop dot value. Okay, and we just want to uh, append some data. So just gonna, I'm just going to um, append 
the record, and we've only got one field, um, so we need an array of values, and it's i. Um, so that's that's our effectively our data uh, created. Well, will be. Um, so I'm just now going to add a couple of buttons. One for um, edit report. In. Anyway, and um, like this, and I'm just going to define a function. We need a uh, report file name. I suppose I could do this with a, a constant as well. Um, Going to be the, the, the file name of our report. So in our edit report, we will uh, build data, and uh, we might be doing this multiple times. So um, CDS keys, and we need to empty the data set. In our report designer dialog, we want to edit report. And our show report is going to be very similar, except it's going to be preview report. Okay, so I think we have now got enough uh, information to uh, produce our report. So we'll run that. And we've got edit report. Through a detail band. So I'm not going to really explain how, how the reporting engine works, but um, these detail bands get repeated for each um, entry that is in our A4. Um, in our main report uh, table, which is our CDS keys. Okay. I need three columns. That's 10. No, sorry, that's 6, 6, 10, and grab my cheat sheet, uh, 56, and it's landscape. And our band, we need to specify the height, which is this, the size of the labels, which is, uh, actually it's 22 millimeters, but um, that was what I copied out of our the one I did previously. Okay, so basically um, that doesn't look wide enough, but it might be. Um, basically we, we um, I print on both sides and fold it in half. So on the side I'm going to throw an image. Uh, it's going to be that one. C twice, so control C, control V, control C, and okay, so that's our logo and property management. A phone number and Bigger and the website. Now, on the other side, we want to actually print our number. So let's grab a data field and it's automatically uh, defaulted to our, our label. Um, it's already 
big. Try 36. Maybe it's a little bit too big. 32 might be good. And a little. my field, which I want to fill in with that text. Which I think I want much smaller than that actually. Preview that, and there's our our key ta key labels, and what I want to do is add some borders. Um, I'm going to make them light grey so that uh, they're not really visible. Once, um, so they're only subtle uh, for when we cut them out. So that that's basically. I can save that. And we can adjust these. We can go uh, 150, well, 150 to 220 or something like that. And we get from 150, and we get three pages up to 220. Um, so that is basically our application done. Um, my the actual one I did was a little bit more sophisticated, but uh, sort of the the bones of it. Um, so I hope this is didn't really uh, explain what I was doing, but I hope uh, you followed along a little bit um, in terms of of what we did. So um, we've uh, this build data. We're filling in the client data set with a bunch of numbers, uh, and we're just uh, either previewing or editing a report with uh, uh, QR Design, which is part of Quick Reports. Um, so that's pretty much. Uh, all I wanted to show you. Um, um, thanks for watching. So this video was more of a demonstration than a tutorial. Uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments saying, I don't know, you didn't know what you were doing. Should have explained. Anyway, um, <laughs> on YouTube. Um, so this is the, the, the finished product, this is the, the key, key label. Um, and if I open it out, uh, you'll recognize that as being uh, uh, a part of the report that we designed. Or uh, sort of copied the actual uh, that, that took 10 minutes to write um, in in this video. Uh, it took me a couple of hours, um, um, mostly spent uh, designing the report and making that look appropriate um, and getting to the, the, the key tags and all that kind of thing. So uh, and the, the user interface and in, in my version was a bit, uh, quite a bit nicer, but um, this this was uh, fully functional. So. So just to start demonstrating really that how quickly one can uh, create um, business value uh, writing applications in Delphi if you know how to uh, program. And on that, that topic, um, uh, knowing how to use Delphi, I, I should promote um, my commercial videos. If you go to uh, learndelphi.tv, go there right now, and um, buy my videos on building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library. I have two parts currently. I'll be starting the third part uh, shortly. Um, so that's probably all, all I need to say. Um, uh, thank you for watching, uh, and it's, yeah, bye now from me.